Good morning, John. Tell us about your first kiss. Right. I want to get to that, but first, I wanted to talk about the fact that I got to interview a scientist from the Large Hadron Collider Tell us about your first kiss. Really? We're gonna do this first. Tell us about your first kiss. Okay, we're going to do this first. In third grade, I dated a girl for like six months. I kissed her on the forehead, cheek, and hand. Our friends threw a mock wedding for us in my pool area, and she got cold feet and wouldn't fake marry me. But my first actual like germ swapping mouth kiss was with a girl whose last name was Dubois, but everybody called her Dubois. She was a fan of the men folk. Including me. Most expensive casual item of clothing ever bought. In Montana, it is good to be prepared for the winter seasons in whatever way you can. There's something in my pocket. Money! Money from last winter money! Six bucks I didn't know I had. Also there were some receipts. Let's see what I bought last year. Beer! That's all. The only thing on this receipt is a six of Miller High Life. Making sure my dues get paid. First job you ever wanted as a kid. Like around 85% of my elementary school class, I wanted to be an oceanographer. I wrote a haiku about it and it was so good that I remember it to this very day. Oceanographer. That is what I want to be. Oceanographer. Tell us about your group of school friends. We called ourselves the Posse. And there were five of us and I was the only boy. Well, that explains a lot. Shut up. We passed notes in school and we renamed all the days of the week and we would sit around and listen to Hanson and this sounds like it's middle school, but it wasn't. It was senior year in high school. Those four girls, Wedgie, Kelly, Amanda, and Casey remain some of my best friends in the world. And I'm very lucky to have had them. What would you name your kids? Well, I can tell you exactly what I'm not going to name my kids. Uh, Hunter, Olive, Forest, Lime, Asparagus. Cause my last name's green. Cute names are cute for like 0.1% of a child's life. Who do you want to answer the survey next? I would like all of my ex-girlfriends to answer this because I want to know if I was their first kiss. I have a feeling that I was no one's first kiss, which is kind of sad to me. And I would most especially like Hatchet Face from Crybaby to answer this because I don't, I'm just curious how she's doing. In addition to interviewing myself just now, I alluded earlier to the fact that today I interviewed Joe and Candela one of the top scientists at the Large Hadron Collider. Joe is pretty famous in the world of particle physics. He helped discover the top quark. And I got to talk to him for a half an hour this morning. And you know why? Because of you people. No one would ever talk to me about awesome things if it weren't for you, so thank you. It was pretty much like the coolest thing that happened to me like ever. That should be a new segment on Vlogbrothers. The coolest thing. It happened to me like ever. So John and I talked a lot about a lot of things. You can sit here like like me occasionally thinking, my God, we've spent so many years of our lives, spent 15 years preparing this experiment. What if we don't find anything, you know? It doesn't work that way because we know there has to be something that's got to give. If we find it, then we have to study it. And the details may tell us a lot about where to look next. And if we don't find it, although it would be hard to explain this to our funding agencies, it's a much more exciting situation. Where you get to you get to make up your own particles that have your name on them. One thing we didn't talk about is that neutrino that supposedly went faster than light. And the reason I haven't talked about this, people have been asking me about this on Twitter, is because I'm reserving judgment. I just have a hard time, you know, sort of coming to terms with the fact that I might live in a world where matter can travel faster than the speed of light. It makes me want to make this noise. <laughs> actually with probably the most articulate thing I've ever said about particle physics in my life. John, I will see you on Wednesday. What's holding you from falling to the center of the earth right now? My chair. <laughs>